face. I, I am do sure I, I do don't. I really? Know. You do. You look so pretty. Oh. I look. No, you look good. You're a pro. What are you talking about? <laughs> You're a pro. What are you talking about? Yeah, but about? I don't look nice. It's just because I'm literally just doing what I do every single day. Because you're literally beautiful. Ah. No. Hi, this is Regine and welcome to my channel. You know, I've been doing vlang <laughs> lately, pero I wanted to do naman something else, something um, something serious. Hindi naman siguro masyadong serious, but but I wanted to discuss certain topics na medyo hindi ko madi-discuss uh, kung, kung sa iba ko gagawin. But now that I have this kind of platform, uh, parang maybe it's a good thing or it's a good idea to also um, talk about certain topics and talk about to other people and see what they think about yeah, things like that. Yeah, because you have a lot like more freedom mm -hmm. now. To yeah, I guess. No, parang it's like having your own show, but yeah. you know, not really. <laughs> <laughs> and please welcome my daughter, Leila Alcacid. And she is here because. Wala lang. She's my first guest. Wala. I live here. <laughs> because she lives here and she's free. <laughs> By the way, we call this real talk. Yes. So it's different topics with different people, different uh, backgrounds. Uh, kahit sino, kung sino yung ma invite ko, hopefully, marami tayong ma invite. And uh, pipili tayo ng certain topics, and you can also suggest. You guys can also write down below kung ano yung mga pwedeng suggestions na pwede naming maging topic. We will be talking, <laughs> but doing our own makeup without mirrors. Oh para my God. <laughs> ma <-iba lang. laughs> so let's start while we do while our we, makeup. We're gonna. We'll talk about. Um, this is very serious. Uh, Ano I don't uh, even know what we're talking about today. <laughs> step parenting. Okay, cool. It's bagay for us because, you know, I'm her stepmom. Yes. She is my daughter. It's my mama Reg. From another mother. <laughs> Literally. Yes. <laughs> Lila is the daughter of my husband from his first marriage to Michelle Ma Van Imeren. You know, see si Miss Australia. Yes. You know, Miss Australia. Di ba? Ang Mommy. ganda nun. <laughs> Nabola ng asawa ko yun. <laughs> At nagkaroon po sila ng dalawang anak. Isa po siya dyan. Siya po yung panganay. She lived there. No, you lived here. So I lived here until I was like, until almost five years old. Five years old. And then moved to Australia. This is really hot. <laughs> Good luck. We moved to Australia. And then <laughs> continue. Moved to Australia, and I grew up there. Mm. And then I moved here, January of 2017. So mm. I've been here almost three years, mm. living with my parents, mm. and um, it's been good. I mean, I, I mean, I would imagine. Na it was very hard for you because you have to give up your life in Australia, right? Oh yeah, you I have mean, to give up your life there. My friends, I mean that was literally where I grew up. So I mm. had all my friends. I was in college. I was in first year college when I decided to come here. And initially, the decision was to take a gap year mm. because I was in this frame of mind where like I didn't really know what I wanted to do with your life, and I didn't know if. Like what I was studying was what I could see myself actually doing for. What were career. you? What was your course? I was doing political science, so I wanted to. So heavy. Very heavy. So deep. So deep. So I wanted to go into law. What and are you doing? You have no makeup whatsoever. I don't know. <laughs> Come on, Jay. <laughs> Anyways, basically, I came here June of 2016 for mm -hmm. a vacation. Yeah. And that was when. Um, I was like, I felt this new kind of connection, I guess, with mm. with Philippines, with Manila, and mm. with here and with you guys as well. I think that's the first trip where I really got to mm. ha like talk to you mm -mm. Um, on a more serious level and stuff like that. And I remember when it was time to leave to go back home, I was crying, and I like I couldn't really figure out why. Well, one of the reasons why was because of Nate also. Yes, she was crying because she kept saying. Uh, 
But I mean, you were so scared that he'll grow up and not know you. I remember yeah, well, you saying that. I would see him like, I'd see you guys more often, but with him, I'd see him once yeah. a year. Mm -mm. So every time I saw him, he was a year older. Mm -mm. And it was really difficult to like build a relationship with him and also with you mm -mm. and dad, just because like you can't build a solid relationship when yeah. you're, you're not seeing each other that mm -mm. often, you know? So when you decided to come here, it wasn't very hard. Cause he no, I mean, it was hard because I knew I was leaving behind my sister. friends, my sister, who uh -huh. was in her very formative years. I was also leaving my mom, who I'm very, very close to, mm. my stepdad, and just my whole life. So it, mm. it was difficult in the sense that I was like going into something that I, I didn't really know. But the comfort was knowing that I had family here and mm. that I was going to have the opportunity to be close with you guys. Mm. And I think if I didn't have you and I was just coming here, it would have been much more difficult for me. Oh, mm -mm, mm -mm. On my part, naman, I, I, made a, I made an effort talaga to know her. Yeah, you really did. Uh, well, because that's what you're supposed to do. It's like uh, uh, knowing a friend. Diba? Kung paano mo magiging friend if you're not yeah. gonna make time to know yeah. that person. So you really have to, diba? That's how yeah. it, it's... And it's also, like, I was already grown when I came here. So you were getting to know me as my mother, as, like, yeah. when I was already 19. Yeah, so nine, yeah, you were 19. I was 19. I remember your mom called me uh, the time you were gonna, you, you decided to move here. Mm -hmm. She said to me na, you know, she's an adult, but not really yet. Yeah. So she needs guidance. But parang it's in a weird, weird nung ano eh. Kasi nga, you're a grown-up na, you're 19 years old, you still need guidance. Pero hindi naman pwede yung in-your-face kind of Yeah, it was kind of like just parenting. being there for me. Uh -oh. But also, I was in that phase where I was like, I'm gonna start, you know, making my own Make, decisions. Uh -oh. mm -mm. So... What I did was, I didn't try and be a mom. Yeah. Because I, actually we had a conversation about this. Eh, na, ayokong maging nanay niya kasi meron na siyang nanay eh. Parang she really didn't need me to be her mom kasi she already has her mom. So ang naging style ko was just to be a friend. Which is easier for me and easier for her because then... Diba? Parang, yeah. parang, mas madali yun for both of us, I guess, no? But, I don't know for, for, dun sa iba na may same, similar, um, uh, situation as us. But, for me, it worked. Yeah. Uh, na, mas friendship yung, yung naging beginning namin. Although, after a while, <laughs> nagpiparent na din ako kasi meron siya mga ginagawa na. Hindi ko nakakawa. I'm over that now. <laughs> There was a phase, you know. There was a phase. But, kasi ayoko din makialam eh. Tuwing merong something, I would ask your dad to deal with it. Yeah. Kasi parang feeling ko, it's his turn. And parang, kasi then he wanted to be there. He wanted to be... He wanted to have his time of being yeah. my dad. Yeah, so. be, kasi he didn't, he wasn't able to do that. Because no. he, would, he would go to Australia maybe four or five times a year. And it was only for like four days. Yeah, and it's not enough five. to build a relationship like yeah. that with your daughter, the right? So I remember him saying before, like he thought that he knew me well. Mm. And when I moved here, he realized like how much he did it, like how, how much more he needed to learn kind of thing. Yeah. Mm. And that's obviously normal and we've had that time and same thing with you as well. Yeah. Um, so I think, and you really did a good job of like... Really? Yes. I was, you know, stepping aside and allowing dad to to be my dad, but also in the times when I really needed you, you were there. And it was like, I never felt like I couldn't talk to you or I never mm. felt like I couldn't confide in you. It was also like, even though I was already grown up, it was a time where, you know, like maybe the first year that I was living here, I didn't really have like any friends like I didn't know anyone so I just was us yeah I was spending a lot of time in the house they got me a dog because I was lonely <laughs> alam ko na pag gusto niya makipag-usap eh she'll go to the room our room she'll sit in front of me I'll sit on the floor <laughs> she'll sit in front of me and not leave 
Yeah. So kahit anong gagawin ko, kakain ako doon, ano bang gusto nito? <laughs> Ay, kipag-usap lang siya kasi meron siyang pinagdadaanan, yeah. boys, whatever. No, no, I wasn't bad, but I was no, just kind no, of going of through the motions not. of like, it was like yeah, I, I, re- I went through teenagehood again here. Because I hadn't, and it was. Ano ba yon? Bakit did you enjoy it? You, it's, it's different because here, eh? It's different, and I think well, because in that time I was like. You we were just trying to enjoy it. I was, I was like, making friends, and yeah. I was just meeting people and finding out who I meshed with, who I didn't, and. Um, I like that word, mesh. Mesh. Mesh with. <laughs> mm. And you know, like naturally, you come across situations where there's people you don't get along with, and. It was also mixed up with like going to parties and, and breaking my curfew and all that kind of stuff. Ah. And um, it got to the point where I just felt so bad and I didn't want to talk about it. I Sinong strict sa curfew? Both of you. No, me. Well, you were stricter because dad just like falls asleep. But she would, <laughs> she would stay up. Like dad's like, be home by this time. I get home and he's sleeping. I was like... <laughs> but she would st- wait, stay up. And I remember I used to feel really bad. There was one time I came home like so late as in it was like mo- morning already and she was texting me and i was just like not really minding it got home and then i realized what time it was and i felt so bad because she was waiting up for me i went from going out a lot to like staying in the house all the time because i felt so bad about like you know kind of going through this party phase and i'm someone who i guess tends to be pretty hard on myself and it's funny because I, I didn't want to tell anyone. I didn't want to talk to dad about it. I was avoiding talking to you about it. And then she actually approached me. I was in her room and then I was just, I didn't want to talk. And then she, she, she's just sitting around. And she's like, I don't know if I'm crossing a line by saying this, but I'm going to say it because I care. And then she was just, you know, telling me. Did I say that talaga in English? I'm good, huh? Yes. <laughs> you always, you, our talks were always fully English and they were really good. Wow. I'm such she an really Englishing improved, person. She really improved when I moved here. Oh, see? And um, my vocabulary got bigger. Bigger. <laughs> Big expanded, <laughs> expanded, <laughs> you and, know, um, literally. And yeah, she she was like, I don't know if I'm crossing a line, but I just want to, you know, tell you what I have observed and like what I think you're going through. And then she started crying, and I remember. <laughs> I did. Yes, you did. You're tearing up because she was saying to me, I won't share all the details, but she basically said something like, along the lines of, I wasn't really loving myself enough because at the time I wasn't I was going through this phase where like I just didn't appreciate myself Mm. and so I would put myself in these situations where I was looking for validation from other people and so she said that to me and I'd never had anyone say it to me and I was like and then because she was also crying I was like oh my gosh she really cares about me (laughs) and that was like a defining (laughs) it was a defining moment for me because I've never forgotten that I was I was like it was one of the times where I really felt like, you know, you really felt like a mom. And mm. and I realized that we had built this. <laughs> I'm sorry. I realized we had built, you know, a very special relationship. Mm. And as time's gone on and I've kind of got out, out of that phase and I don't really, like, care for going out much anymore. Um, and, you know, I don't come to you as often for those kinds of talks. Mm. You're st- I know you're still there if, if I do in the event need it, you know? No, because I'm just waiting. Yeah. At that, ta- at, uh, that time, kasi, I, I felt like I needed to say something because I, I could see it na. And parang it felt wrong if I just kept quiet. Yeah. And I keep hearing your very, your, your mom's very high voice. Yes. You know, she's a teenager. <laughs> She still needs. She's an adult, but she still yeah. needs. So I, I could, you could literally, get it out of your head, yeah. literally hear her very high voice, and I felt like I needed to tell you, because parang her direction was actually there was no direction whatsoever. No, I was just. Well, you were having fun. Come on, you're young. It's okay, it was, and it's yeah. fine, and it's while it's okay, but you also need to kind of give importance to yourself. You cannot be all over the place, di ba? Kasi ako, hindi nyo lang alam, pero very conservative kasi talaga ako. Kasi, yun yung family ko eh. Our family is very, very conservative. At siguro dahil ganun ako pinalaki, ganun ko binibigyan ng importansya yung sarili ko. Not because mayabang ako, but I'm a woman. 
'di ba? Babae ka, iningatan ka ng tatay mo at ng nanay mo. At yeah. hanggang ngayon, iniingatan ka. Hindi ka namin basta papatulugin kung saan-saan. Hindi ka nga pinapakagat sa lamok, di ba? <laughs> Nag-freak out nga ako pag may lamok, right? Like, yeah. I would always tell her, can you please put Rebella? Very protective in every sense of the word. Can you imagine? So that's how much we love you. And this is how much, you know, this is how important you are to, to us. And then you go out and parang feeling ko, you don't know your worth. Yeah. as a woman and as a person and it was hurting me seeing that kasi syempre ang tingin ko sa iyo anak ko na eh you are already my daughter so parang naka-hurt ako na you're doing all these things and i'm like parang you're not giving importance naman to yourself Par- tapos kami parang ganito ka pa you're like you know you're like a piece of jewelry to us this is how important you are to us. Especially kasi babae. Eh, di ba ang mga Pilipino, meron tayong special treatment sa babae. And I actually kind of like that. And I, I pray to God that this, na yung, yung tradition natin na yun na talagang, talagang may importansya, may special treatment tayo sa mga babae, hindi mawala. You know, my parents uh, talagang treated me very special also. Yeah. So, parang I wanted to do the same for you. And I wanted to let you know how special and how beautiful you are inside out. Kasi the way you see yourself is also, this is how the, the people will also treat you. Mm-hmm. Kung paano mo tinitignan yung sarili mo. Kung may respeto ka sa sarili mo, then people will also respect you. As a woman, I thought it was uh, important for me to share that to her. Bilang daughter ko siya. So, yun. And I've witnessed like the impact that that conversation had on me as well because ever since then I really focused a lot on respecting myself. You've changed a lot. <laughs> um, I'm still, you know, I, I, even in that time I was still me, but I just yeah. was prioritizing different things. I wasn't prioritizing my well-being. Um, mm-hmm. So that talk was very like it was the one thing I needed at that exact time as well. So I've, I've always been really grateful for that. Oh. Um, and it, it did a lot for me because now, like, I always remember it when I start to kind of... Because it's like a tendency that people have where you, you go through ups and downs. There are times mm. when, when everything's great and then there's times where you start to to want to just, like allow whatever bad things are going on to affect how you feel. Mm. So in those times, I would remember what you say to me and it helps a lot. What can you, uh, what advice can you give to, you know, all the young kids out there who has like a... Step parent. Uh, similar. The similar setup. Setup. Kasi marami din ganun dito. Kasi marami rin namang mga nahihiwalay. Pero ang dami kong horror stories na nadidinig about their stepmoms or but basta hindi masyadong oh, on, hindi masyadong maganda yung relationship what can you for me it wasn't always like a super easy thing there mm. was a time an adjustment period when i was younger and living in australia where i did have like a little bit of a grudge if i'm 100% honest there was mm. a time where like you know i because i was the eldest and i was the one that was I was like a decent age when we moved. So for me, it was like I had to move away from my dad. And you were so five. I was five. You so five. it was like there was a little bit of like. Vlang! 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 So Vlang on Vlang! Vlag on Vlag! Vlag on Vlang! I was talking about a serious topic! So. <laughs> Sige, pagpatuloy niyo yung pagpa-vlang niyo. I was saying oh, something very name? emotional. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's alright, it's alright. Go ahead. <laughs> I forgot. I just had to break that emotional... Vlanging? Oh, okay. moment. So yung po. Right. Peace. <laughs> Hello, baby. You ruined it! I'm sorry. You ruined it! I was <laughs> sharing. I was <laughs> sharing. <gasps> Nasa okay. ano na kami? Nasa, what was I saying? Uh, About my grudge holding. Yes, okay. yes. I didn't know how to, how to, I guess, forgive. I talked to Michelle and she made me promise 
something. A lot of it was like I didn't really understand why things were happening. I didn't mm. understand why I suddenly was living in another place. You don't know how to make sense of it for you, so you look for something to blame. Parang guilty ako doon. And I don't know if I already apologized to you. 